Good afternoon, everyone. I am here to share with you January 5th reading from The Language of Letting Go. I'm finding so much help listening to the words in this book that are great reminders of things I know and a great reminder of why I'm a coach because these are the things that we're doing is we're helping other people learn how to nurture themselves, how to set boundaries, how to ask for help, how to do what they need to do regardless of who accepts them or approves of what they're doing. So today is January 5th and the subject is accepting help. Some of us has felt, have felt so alienated that we've forgotten we're not alone. We've come to believe that we have to do it ourselves. Some of us have been abandoned. Some have gone without love. Some of us have gotten used to people never being there for us. Some of us have struggled, had hard lessons to learn. God's there, always ready to help. There's an ample supply of people to care about us too. We will, if we want it, receive love and support, comfort and nurturing. If we take a risk and ask for it, help is there. We can draw on the strength of our recovery group and allow ourselves to be helped and supported by our higher power. Friends will come. Good friends. We aren't alone. We don't have to do it ourselves. We're not doing it ourselves. There's no shortage of love. Not anymore. Today, God, help me let go of my need to do it alone and my belief that I am alone. Help me tap into your divine power and presence and your resources for love, support, and friendship. Open my eyes and my heart so I can see the love, help, and support that there's for, there is for me. Help me know that I am loved. And that's something that I wrote today in my journal um, about the fact that there's not a shortage of people out there who are willing to work hard, who want my help, who are willing to put in the hard work that it takes to make the changes to have a better life now and a better future for themselves and their family because I've allowed myself to feel jaded and convince myself of the story that there aren't people out there like me and there aren't people that are willing to go all in or step outside of their comfort zone or do hard things. I've had a lot of people give up on themselves and I've had to really focus on not taking it personally or taking it as a reflection of my leadership and remembering that I got started on this journey for myself and that anybody who's walk the journey with me, whether it be for a month or a year or two years or, you know, one day that I did make an impact in their life and that I can't control what they do. So I am here, you know, heeding the, the advice that I'd given everybody in the team last year, at the end of last year is that I'm ex asking for help. I can't do this alone and that I need everybody else as much as they need me. And so I hope that you'll do the same for anything that it is that you want in life.